All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's project is installing these underbody fins that are made for GT4 RS on the standard GT4. So as you may know, if you've been following the news with the GT4 RS, one of the main advantages that it has over the standard GT4 is the fact that it offers more downforce compared to the standard GT4. And that is accomplished in different ways. So there is a front, more extended front spoiler, there is side curtains, and there is a more aggressive uh, rear spoiler. Uh, those help with increasing the downforce, but there's also some more additional, more aggressive underbody, which basically move out the turbulent air that's coming through the wheel wells in the front, outside. And by doing that, it reduces the lift, and by reducing the lift, it reduces the... Um, you know, it, it, it improves the downforce. So a lot of people have this kind of perception that these fins would only be uh, good if you have the full aero kit. That's not true. Uh, in reality, obviously, you want to make sure you're balancing the front and the rear of the car. So if you put the, the front, if you put the rear spoiler uh, from the GT4 RS on a GT4, you need to balance the front with a more aggressive arrow, right? Uh, so that part is true. Um, the front and rear need to be balanced. So I think this, the, the metric from Porsche is 70% in the back and 30% in the front. Uh, and so if you put a more aggressive rear spoiler, uh, that's probably going to make it 80% in the back and 20% in the front. And you don't want that, right? That throws off the balance. Now, that doesn't apply to the underbody arrow because that does not per se uh, increases the downforce, so the pressure that's on top of the car, pushing the car down. But what it does, it pushes out the uh, turbulent air, like I mentioned, and it reduces the lift, right? So lift, the force that pull, pushes up the car, and downforce is the force that pushes down the car. Um, so you can go ahead and improve uh, uh, you know, the lift by reducing it without having to worry about um, the aero modifications that go on top of the car, which would be the spoiler and the, uh, the front spoiler and the rear spoiler. So that's that. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and install these. Um, um, and yeah, follow me along and we'll see how it goes. Oh, and for the reference, the part number is 9GT807945. These were backordered for a while. I guess everyone figured out they could retrofit them into a standard GT4, and, but they should be available now. All right, guys, when you come underneath the car, this is what you see from the from the factory. If you saw my previous video, this piece was actually missing from the PDI process. When the car was brand new and arrived at the dealers, for some reason they didn't install this, and it fairly seems to be pretty common where dealers don't install this because it's a bit of an involved process. They need to cut a hole on the wheel liner. Some dealers don't do that anyway, but this is what it looks from the factory. It's supposed to look from the factory. Now, as you can see, this piece really offers two, two functionality. One, it's blocking the airflow, some of the airflow, a small bit of the airflow from the, from the wheel, right? So the wheel is spinning, it creates um, turbulent air, and this piece essentially um, blocks some of that from going under the body. And then this part of the, um, the fin is directing the air coming from the side, over to the side and out. Now this piece is uh, now being replaced with two separate pieces from uh, Porsche in the new GT3, GT4 RS. So this piece, as you can see, it's a, it's a lot beefier than just alone. This piece alone is a lot beefier. And the way it goes, it basically gets, you know, these two holes, they match these two screws. Um, they go right here. Um, and uh, the only caveat here is, there's a third hole that is basically missing on the wheel liner. Uh, so in order to mount this piece, you would have to drill a hole on the wheel liner. And then, uh, you know, when I purchased this uh, GT4 RS fins, they came with a bag of screws and rivets. So I'm going to be using a rivet to secure the top. 
So I'll go ahead, I'll take the V liner off. Um, I will screw these two holes in, line it up, find where I need to drill, make a hole, and then use the rivet to secure this. So as you can see here, uh, the V liner is off. Uh, I did go ahead and screw these two parts in. Uh, there is a clip on the other side um, that these guys, these guys get screwed in. Uh, now the third, the, the top one, I need to make a, make a hole and use a rivet to secure it. And then uh, make sure when you're uh, drilling that hole, you press this flat against uh, the V-liner um, and then go ahead and, and make a hole. All right, as you can see, I used the one fourth uh, drill bit to make a hole here. It looks pretty nice and clean. I'll go ahead and use rivets now to, to secure the top hole. All right, guys, I went ahead and uh, screwed that hole in, but the problem was, this is a this is what you get from Porsche factory, right? It's some plastic type of a screw uh, with this backing, but the problem is it's very finicky and it doesn't really create any force like clamping down those two plastic pieces. So, like you could easily pop this off without any effort. I'm sure after a couple of days of driving, this is gonna go missing. So, instead of going with what the factory sent me, um, I had some of these screws, like bumper screws, uh, uh, available. Uh, this is the part number. Um, they work really great and they actually create some kind of clamping uh, force uh, to bring these two panels together. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure this one is not gonna go anywhere. Uh, so that's that. And then uh, there's another hole in the bottom, but that gets mounted to the, um, the rocker panel. Uh, so you don't need to worry about it just yet. All right, so the first piece, as I mentioned, goes on the wheel liner that's already been done. So now the second piece um, goes actually here. So look at the the control arm and uh, the wishbone. And so it goes right behind that, uh, like this. So one hole here, one hole there, third one, and then the fourth one. Now on the last one, I don't know if this goes under the V-liner or above the V-liner. Uh, probably it's gonna be over the V-liner. I'm just gonna need to play with it. But I'm gonna go ahead, get the V-liner back on and then uh, play around with the fitment of it. All right guys, here's the finished product. So basically you can really, you know, both of these parts combined, you can really follow the error, right? So get scooped out here and then it keeps channeling out, keeps channeling out. This one gets broken into two smaller channels. This one gets split between this main channel and a little bit on here. So that's it for you. Um, the only hole that I really had to make was this one. Everything else really fits uh, from factory. So good luck with the, with the modification and enjoy. All right, guys, I want to do like a comparison. So on this side, you see, I still have the stock GT4 air fins. And on the other side, I have the GT4 RS air fins. As you can see, these are more beefed up and they're pretty substantial in what they do.